All right. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly, if you're new, and uh, I'm just gonna show you a few things that I got recently through auctions. They're, the one item was from a silent auction, and the other items were from an auction that I went to yesterday? Yesterday. So, I was really hopeful this one silent auction that I was gonna get all this stuff. I've been on all this stuff, and I kept talking about it in my videos, and unfortunately, I only won one item. Well, technically, it was a lot of items, but it was like one lot, so really bummed and it's like the only time that I've gone like the day of it's ready to close in times past I've been able to like bid on items and like days ahead of time forget about it I'm like I get an email and I have a bunch of stuff that I won this one I was like I really want this stuff I really want this stuff I went like the day of only a couple hours you know three or four hours before it closed and I'm like I went through and I added a on a couple of the items, a couple of the items had gone so high that I decided not to. Like the one item was an armillary sphere, like one of those brass brown armillary spheres. If I'm saying that correctly with the arrow through it. That went up a little high. There was a sewing machine. Um, I actually bid more on that because I thought if I get it for a good deal, you know, maybe I'll use it. <laughs> I didn't win it. Probably just as well. But um, so I'm really kind of bummed about that. I was bummed about this jewelry lot. There was this really cool crown pin and a bunch of other stuff. And then there was another lot. It was a red Bakelite uh, ring. It was like a flower carved ring. And again, probably just as well. When you when I have gone on eBay to look up Bakelite rings, they're all really small. They're like size five, size four. I'm like a seven and a half, you know, or eight if I want it like on my index finger or whatever. So I get like thicker, thicker knuckles, I guess. <laughs> but um then again, these older, I think older rings maybe, maybe are smaller because people were more petite. But anyway, anyway, rambling, rambling. Um, so I do want to quick show you some of the items that I got and also some backstory um, to, well, not really backstory, but just like uh, my experience at the auction yesterday. Um, it was a fun day. It was an all day thing. But it's interesting because at this auction I've gone to before with Josh and we've actually got some really good deals. Uh, we usually go in the summertime. And it's usually, we'll come home with a carload of stuff. Well, yesterday, people came with deep pockets, I guess, because everything went for so much money. I was not ready for it. Like, even the auction, the silent auction that I, I was just telling you about, um, a lot of the stuff went up pretty high. And, I, again, I've usually never had an issue getting most of the things that I wanted. And I got outbid for all of them, except for the one thing. And that's just, and usually this time of year, it's hard to buy, like, to sell stuff and whatever. So I thought, oh, this, this is a good time of year to get this stuff because it'll be cheap. Oh, no, no, people have got money. <laughs> Apparently, it's coming from somewhere, and I don't mind putting it towards your auctions. So I guess if you want to do auctions, you got to be willing to spend a little bit more. See, I'm I'm really cheap. I'm more like a flea market kind of girl. Like, I just, I would rather haggle, get something for a couple bucks. Um, and a Pyrex piece go for over $80, and on eBay, it sells for $45, $49. It's just... That was one of the items I tried to bid on yesterday. It was this, the pink, the pink daisy divided casserole dish. And they sell for the last one I checked, there was one like 40 or 50. I, I checked ahead of time. Cause I'm like, I don't want to overbid. And I was bidding against this other person. I didn't see who it was. And great in the box that they were, they were putting with some other items. So there was a couple of the porcelain plates and a little thing. I don't, maybe they had value to them. I don't know. They threw them in last minute, but the whole thing kept going forget it. I'm not, it's not worth it. I'm trying not to collect any extra Pyrex unless I find it for a really good deal. And I like it. I did like it, but it was not a good deal. <laughs> anyway, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get right on into the item that I got at the silent auction. The one thing I got was a box of 50 plus vinyl records. And the reason I got them was because of these. Now these I got mostly from my husband. Let me move this camera down a little bit so you can see them. Let's keep the floor. So these are all a little bit of a glare, like all bagpipes and stuff or Scottish music. Oh, get the ring light reflection. We got that one. I won't show you every single one, but just kind of an idea. And some of these had ex like extras. So some of these were doubles I put uh, back in the pile. The other pile, the rest of the pile, uh, I'm just going to get rid of because we're never going to listen to them. I'll put a picture in here somewhere of that pile. There's, this is only like a third or fourth of what was there. So I honestly just got this for all this, for all these records. So these, there's probably, I'm not going to count them right now, but you can see how many are here. And then with the pile I've left over, 
and I spent uh, eight dollars and sixteen cents. I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna cook it. Mm, geez, the ring light is not very complimentary to my complexion. Anywho, so um, really, I am happy about that. I was just bummed because there was all these other things I wanted, and this isn't even anything I wanted. I mean, it is, but it's for my for Josh. The reason I wanted to get these is because his grandfather had, I guess, some bagpipe records back in the day. And his grandfather has since passed, and I know um, Josh really remembered him for that. And his grandfather, like, Tom Lessa, like, working out and some about basketball. And I, I had to have him tell the story, but even his grandfather even had a kilt. Like, he was all the way. So, I think it's just one of those things. Sorry, it's so crooked. And he always talked about his grandfather's records, and he didn't know if they still existed or if his aunt had them. And I never got around to asking her. Um, but I figured, well, this way Josh has his own. And we haven't listened to them yet. But they all, a couple of them I pulled out just to see what condition they were in. And they look really, really nice. I don't see scratches or anything. So that was really, really cool. Oh, speaking of him, he just sent me a text. <laughs> I'll check it later. Um, so anyway, that was that. So at least I did get those. So that's good. At least he, he made out. Um, all right, on to the auctions that I went to yesterday. There were a few items um, that I wanted to get specifically, and I did get a couple of them. Thank goodness. The one item, I'm just going to put a picture here because it's too big to, to bring in my bedroom. <laughs> Spit it out, Holly. I've had all this coffee, so I'm like a little jittery. But it's actually a cute little vintage bistro set. Uh, the chairs are, oh gosh, I forget what they're called, home crust. If I have that wrong, um, I will fix it here in the bottom of the screen if I got the name wrong. Cause I literally just looked them up yesterday. I've seen them a ton of time in pictures. Yeah, I've seen them a ton in pictures, but I wasn't familiar with the brand name. So I did look them up yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I do think they're called Homecrest. So I was very excited about that. I thought the table was like later, like 80s, 90s. But looking at the base of the table, I think... It might have gone with the chairs, but I couldn't find any tables exactly like the one I have that went with the chairs. So, one second. Ah, right. So, I'm really excited about that. Now, I did pay 100 for the set. Um, I was hoping to spend less because I'm cheap. But, fortunately, I have I was good money-wise. Like, you know, I'm going to get them. I was bidding against somebody. And I'm not, usually, I'm not competitive. But there's a point where I, I wasn't ready to stop bidding. And I kept going, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll get around 60. Because I really thought in my naivety that that's what I'd get them for. And it was like going high, 60, 70, 80, 90. I'm like, yeah, and I was there like winds and the cringe. Like, oh gosh, how high is this going to go? But I really wanted these chairs. And um, so it was, I, I thought it was 110, but I just checked the receipt and it was 100. So that's good. So I'm happy about that. So I do need to to paint the table. The edge is just losing all its paint. It's so rusted, but it's fixable. Like it's a solid, sturdy little table. And I'm not crazy about glass top. Like I actually wanted to get a table with a hole in it so I could put an umbrella. Uh, I want to put it over by our shed, but it's fine. It's cute. I can definitely use it. So I do think that I'm going to have to, even the chair is a little rusty. They will need a seat. So I am going to have to cut out like a round circular piece of wood and either like put a cushion on it, like a little pillow, or actually get some like outdoor material and just maybe get some some like foam or something just cover it and staple it underneath just so they'll be like weather protected so I'm so excited to use them they're so cute so anyway that's that uh on to the next item what do we have what do we do next I'll do this one because it's kind of big and um oh, there's leaves in it. it's so dirty oh my gosh okay I got this cute little two and touch it's bent, it's dirty, and there's something inside of it. The only reason I bought this is because um, I, it, I just thought it was cute. And it was the one thing going for cheap. Like, only like one other person was bidding on it, so I got it for $5. Now, it is bent, it is rusted, it has a little plastic ear of corn in it. So, hungry? That's it. Um, but it's, it's, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <clears throat> the little door is open. And there is a name for it. I found it, again... I can't remember so I'm gonna try and remember before I edit this to, to add the name of the company in here somewhere um, the door opens this little door slides up sort of Wait, what's in there something dead anyway so <laughs> but it's kind of cute look, look at the back too I didn't notice that the sides are really decorative and pretty um, 
I know I saw one for sale on eBay for 80 some, but it was like really good condition. I saw one had sold for 20 something, I think. So we're getting this for like five bucks. Not too bad. Look at the cute little hearts. Little children. Isn't that sweet and little sides? Um, real quick, I think I'm going to plug in somewhere in here. I did do a little bit of footage. Um, I had this in some of the footage of the auction. I was, I was planning on doing all this footage at the auction. And then when I got there, I think I had like under three minutes. And I wasn't, I just, after a while, I just didn't feel like it because I was kind of going back and forth. This auction, there's like three different ones going on. Oh, I thought I used these. And I just, there was so much going on. I just got to the point where I just, didn't feel like it. So I apologize. I didn't get a whole lot of footage of the auction itself. Um, right in here, I'm going to stop it here, show the like the l under three minutes of footage, and then I'll come right back. So. See, there was a few items there that I got on, on, uh, on film. I can't even remember at this point in time what's on there. I think there's an old saxophone, and I think that little, little hutch was on there. Just because it caught my eye. It's cute. So then, moving on. I'll do the box left. And it's one little box thing. And there's stuff in it that I don't know what's in it because I, I bid on it for the one item in the box. So the next items, items that I got are these cute little, again, I... <laughs> I just bid on these because like hardly anybody was bidding on them. I think I spent like 10 bucks for the pair. But these remind me of when I was in college. Um, this is like the little, what is this open? These remind me of, um, is it locked? Why are you not opening? When I was in college, when we get our mail, we had little boxes like this and we literally had to do our little code each time we would get into our mailbox. I just think these are cute. They're really heavy. This one has a date on 1964 and this one says 1967. So you can kind of see it in there a little bit, obviously backwards. And it's kind of cool because this number is on the inside and it's kind of like on a piece of metal and it's screwed in, which is kind of, not focusing, which is interesting. But this one, there's nothing on the back. It's just these metal pieces holding it in. And then there's like a number taped on. 
So what I might do, I kind of want to keep this number on this one just because it's original to it. This one's just a sticker, so I think I want to take the sticker off, clean this glass, and maybe put a cool picture behind it, maybe a cute little like knob or flat. I'm not sure what. Um, so I did a quick search online just to see what other people have done, like decoration-wise, but I really couldn't find anything. So if you have any ideas of like what you think you would do with this or um, any suggestions of like if you have seen a picture online, if you want to put like the link down below, I'd love to see like what cool repurposed things you could do with this. I did see people have built like a wood box around them, but I honestly don't want to do that. But I'm not sure what I want to do. So I'm sure there's a really cool idea out there somewhere. All right, putting this aside. <laughs> quick, quick, um, I was just thinking about it, looking at the little doors. I still have dreams that I'm in college and I cannot get my mail. Like, I can't get in my mail. I can't find my mail. I'm like, how, where, where's the mail room? I've been here for weeks and weeks and I haven't checked my mail. <laughs> anyway, side note. Uh, the last item that I got, but I mean, last that I got, but I have still one more thing to show you. Literally at the end of the day, this is when I got this. I got this Pyrex Opal Bowl, unmarked. Um, it does not say Pyrex on it. The Opal Bowls, the original, the, um, genuine Opal Bowls have absolutely nothing. So you can see it's completely smooth. It doesn't say Pyrex. It doesn't say the number. And, um, the reason I got this is because I have the two smaller ones. They came in a set of four and the antique shop near me has the the next size that I need. So I think sometime tomorrow I'm going to run down there and get the other bowl and then I have a full set, which is why I got this. Um, so there's no chips or cracks. I, I did quick check it. It's dripping water because I just washed it. When I picked it up, it was disgusting. It was full of other primary Pyrex bowls, but they were all dishwasher damaged. This had some brown <laughs> drippage in it. It was so disgusting. And um, it's kind of nice because you can ask... Um, I keep saying, um, you can ask the people to just bid one thing or a little grouping of things at each table. So I just asked the lady, can you just, just do the bowl? So she put it up for bid and I got it for $2. So isn't that awesome? I think they sell between $30 and $40 on eBay. So I was very, very excited. Especially since I paid like a hundred bucks on the little bistro set. Like I was to get something for very, very cheap. Just, well, I did the other stuff too, but I wasn't looking to buy those. I was looking to buy this bowl. Like I saw it on their website. It's one of the reasons I went out there. Um, this place is like almost an hour away from me and I almost didn't stay for this bowl because like everything I wanted was going for such a high price and because uh, they had a ton of jewelry there as well and there was a couple boxes. They, let me slow down. They had two big long wooden tables of jewelry, bottom and top, top and bottom. <laughs> Of those little cardboard trays just full of jewelry some of it was nice like I would say when I say nice I mean like mid-century enamel pins like the big flowers I saw a couple silver rings the one box I saw that I wanted had I'm pretty sure it was Bakelite ring it was like a ring um sizer um and it has some really cool pins in it and I really wanted this one box but unfortunately well Unfortunately for me, <laughs> I didn't get any of the jewelry because they were selling all the jewelry in like several boxes at a time. And those boxes were going for over a hundred, two hundred dollars like no joke. A lot of it looked like costume jewelry to me, but apparently there was more in there that met the eye because that meets the eye, met the eye, whatever this hang is, because they were going for so much money. I was so frustrated. I did go over to the one gentleman who bought the box that I wanted and I asked him if he would sell a few pieces. He's like, oh, I'm not going to sell any right now. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's fair. You know, um, sometimes you can get people to do that if you're at an auction, like if they buy a whole bunch of stuff, like, can I just buy that one little thing? Do you, do you care? Sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. That's totally fair. It's, he spent like hundreds of dollars on it. Like if it were me, I'd want to go through it first before I just like bought, sold a friend in pieces, but it doesn't hurt to ask. I've always learned that. So anyway, no big deal, no big deal. But, um, so yeah, I was happy to get this good deal. It's kind of funny cause later in the day I heard someone talking behind me, um, I was sitting at the, the one section has a bunch of chairs. You can sit and watch the auction and the other two are kind of outside where you stand. And the two people behind me were talking about the jewelry. And this guy was like, yeah, he's like, I'll, I'll buy a box for 15, 20 bucks if I don't know what's in it. But like he was saying how he couldn't believe how much the jewelry went, went for. Like he was just shocked as well. A couple of us, I think a lot of people would have bought it for like a lot cheaper, but there were a couple people there. There was this one lady for sure. There's one other guy. I think there's another lady in front of me between at least those three people they were buying up this jewelry and they were not afraid to spend whatever it took to get them. 
So it was, it was a little crazy, but it's all right. I get enough jewelry that I don't wear anyway. What, what am I going to do with more jewelry? All right. The last items, which I'm not missing anything. No, that's everything. The last, <coughs> I just breathe in my hair. Um, okay. No, it felt like a little wet at the bottom, but it's just, it's not. Um, the last item I got was this whole box of stuff. I'll quick show you here. You see it? The only reason I got this whole lot was because I wanted this. I love collecting these little vintage cases for my craft section. I can put like random things in it, like stickers or, or um, whatever. So I got this because I love the case and I love the little, these little plastic handles. I don't know why this makes me so happy. And this little brass clasp. Well, brass like. I don't know if it's really brass. And it's filled with. Let me get rid of this box. It's kind of in my way. The reason I got this is, well, like I just told you, and it's in really good condition. A lot of times these are pretty buggered up, but the stitching is still really good and it still closes that this isn't broken. I actually have a case where mine is, is kind of snapped and cracked. I've tried to, to glue it, but it doesn't stay and it's filled with, and I have not checked this yet. Excuse me. Um, I'm assuming doll clothes. So quick go through this together. Oh, everything's so dusty and crusty. Ugh. This is, oh, these are like, ew. I guess these are supposed to be blondewares or like pantaloons. It's got some kind of brown stuff on it. I don't know. Um, this cute little, I might just donate this, but I'll just quick show you guys. It's actually kind of soft, a little flannel. I'm wondering if these are homemade. These look homemade because I'm not seeing tags. And then this, cute, I like the material on this one. Looks like, oh, it's very worn. I'm guessing a little dress has a hole in it, a little pair of pants. They all have like sweet little, like little snaps on them. Can you, can you see this? Can I hold it closer, Holly? They can't see. Anyway, that's good. Um, these are good size. This would have been for a good size doll. Oh, sorry. I this. This little thing. There's quite a few things in here. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, oh, I think I might keep this one. I have, look at this sweet little, doesn't it look like it belongs to like an Alice in Wonderland doll? I think this might fit on mine. I'll have to see. I um, got a Rapunzel, a Disney's Animators Rapunzel doll. Am I saying that right? A Goodwill for $1.99 a while back. And I love this one particularly because she kind of has a sad, somber expression. And that's the one I've been looking for. And I wanted, um, to turn her into an Alice doll. I saw someone had done it, I think on YouTube. So I trimmed her hair a little bit. I, I, I didn't want to trim it, but the ends really were gross. So I trimmed them and I made her a little jean dress because it's the only blue material I had. And I put this like little, like, it's like a little plastic vinyl apron on her because it has like an Alice, like Alice or Tweedledee and Tweedledum on it. But I think this actually looked cuter over the dress. So I think, I think I might see if this fits her. So I'm gonna see if that. Um, no idea what this is. Oh, little dress. And oh, oh. For a second, I thought I saw jewelry, but these like little, <laughs> these little shoes. Oh my gosh, look how sweet these little tiny. Let me just show you one at a time. There's two of them, obviously. But sorry, I gotta do the hand thing. Little shoes, and they actually have glitter in them. And you can see. I wonder if there's any markings on them. No, I'm not seeing anything. I don't know. So two of those. <clears throat> Another little pa pair of heels. And then these little tiny. Oh. Made in USA. Fairyland toy. Prod. I have no idea. These cute little shoes. Oh my word. Sweet. Let me see. Why am I so far away? Sorry. Um, you think I'd know by now. Should be practically a pro. Oh my god, look at this cute little sweater. Why can't this be my size? I'd wear this. Look how darling. Actually, I do kind of have like a pink sweater thing. I got it at Goodwill a while back. I should just wear it. I forgot about it. Mm, little overalls, little corduroy. Little corduroy pants. And have this little. little. How, would, how would you do that? It's like this. Whatever. Sweet. And the last but not least, oh, it's got clowns on it. And look, it reminds me of a hospital robe. 
I guess it was supposed to be like a little sweater or over thing over I don't know. Ripped unfortunately. I'm half tempted to keep that for the material and I don't know why. There's something about the old clowns. And I don't collect clowns, but there's something about them. I don't know what I'd do with it though. I think I might save this one too. This one in a little apron. The rest I'll just donate. Because I'm not gonna use them. So I got this cute little case. Let's close her up. You know what? This would make a really cute purse too. I would totally use this as a purse. It's fun because you could get like little vinyl st stickers and like put anything on here if you wanted to. Oh my god, that's even more. Look how sweet. I love it. Okay. Moving on, moving on. You all have lives and I don't want to keep you for too long. But I do appreciate you being here. So thank you. This thing is so weird. <laughs> it's an actual gourd, I guess. So that was... Yeah. All right. All right. Um, this material... Ooh, was that a voodoo doll? Um... I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I don't like that. I'm going to get rid of that. That's, that's, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Um, oh, is this a shawl? Oh, this might be a shawl. I think it might be. <clears throat> oh, it is. You know what's funny? Okay, I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to wash it and put it right in my laundry. Right there. Oh, is it a ladybug? Oh, no, it's not a ladybug. It's one of those orange beetles that pretend to be a ladybug um I was just thinking the other day let's see the other day it might have been a few weeks ago but I used to have a couple shawls or at least one that was my grandmother's and I don't know what happened to them I guess I just I, I remember I used to wear them to church all the time like I felt so grown up with my shawl I love them they did get me warm they're kind of cozy it was like an ex you couldn't really take a blanket out with you but you could do you could have a shawl but um I used to wear that a lot and I loved it. I don't know what happened to it. I guess I got rid of it because after a while I just kind of grew out of it and I didn't want to use it. I was kind of thinking like how it would be neat to have a shawl. So there we go. I'm going to get rid of the doll thing. That's, that's, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. Um, there's a little trophy. Is this a scope? What is this thing? Actually the box feels empty so I don't think it's actually, let me quick show you, sorry. Let me uh, include you in. It's empty. Why would you put this at the auction? Like, seriously. Is it in here? No, it's not. It's an empty box. Okay. One more thing that's on the trash. Um, I'm not liking some of the things in this box. I honestly just got it for the cute little red case. There's this thing. Which is actually kind of cute. It's a black cat, whatever. And then this. I don't know. I don't really have a bad vibe about it, but I don't have a good one either. I think those are just going to get, I think I'm just going to throw those away. Um, and there's one of these big envelopes. I don't know what this stuff is. Missy Marvin meets, uh, oh, it's an activity book, I guess. There's a bunch of these things in it. I wonder how old this is. <clears throat> it looks like, sorry, let me see it like this so you can see it as well. So there's like activities, and it looks like there's stuff you can punch out. I don't know if you can see it here. So you can make some, oh, let me see. I just need to see what I'm putting on film. And then, okay, that's just how old I am. This isn't film. I'm not using film. So you have like, it looks like comics at the top. Oh, no glare, no glare. There we go. And then these kind of, you pop them out and build stuff. That's interesting. There's another one here. I think it's is it the exact same? it's the exact same thing. So there's two of those. Get rid of those because I'm never gonna use those. Okay, what was in, oh, because there's these huge envelopes in the box. I was wondering what was in them, but they're empty. They pulled the activity things out. It looks like there's another one in here. This one's actually sealed. I'm assuming it's the exact same one. Watch up I do this. All this for nothing. Yep, three of the exact same thing. So nothing, nothing. Exact. The rest of those are just I'm just gonna chuck those because I'm not gonna use them, and I don't know anybody who would use them anyway. So either I'll donate, chuck them, whatever. So, all right, is that everything? I think that's actually everything. A little paper. Ew, it is a voodoo doll. Ew, gosh, no, sorry. 
Hey, I, no, I'm sorry. I just am not okay with that. <laughs> not okay with that at all. Um, don't mess with any of that. I personally have no interest in that. Uh, to each his own, but not me. Sorry. Thank you. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to end this here. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching and tagging along with me as I kind of show you the things that I got. It's a small haul, nothing big or exciting, but I just, I wanted to show you guys and have fun kind of looking over this stuff. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys again soon, hopefully. <laughs> Bye.